All right, bag's packed up. Time to get the tanks ready. Lock it down out of the basement. <laughs> What's up, tank? Oh, go in your hole. Oh, yeah, I got you. Right. Calc is good. How do I top off? So do I top off? Mm, I'll top off the top off. This thing more? Yep. Needs more. Oh, fishies are hungry. Oh, you smell that Ochaka? Get you some, girl. No niblets. Are you hungry? Well? No? Yes? Let's nom 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 nom. So you need to be changed? Mm-hmm. Sure do. Oh, I need to get the auto top off for this one. Lord, yeah, what you got? Need some more water. Are you ready to go to Grandpa's? Are you ready to go to Grandpa's? Are you scared about everything? Making any water there, Rody? Yeah, lots more. Food waterfall. Some more food. How about now, water? Close enough. Rushing waterfall. Should have got a bigger one. All right, guys, got something brand new. This is something that only the top influencers like me get to test. It's the Neptune Dose 4, four dosing heads, all manual. I'm using this to dose top off to this tank. Buy number one, buy cycling fish tank, buy simulators. Buy copepods in the quarantine tank. 
Bicopopods in the swamp tank. Bye everyone. All right, I'm back. Got back last night uh, about 10.30 instead of 6.30. Thanks a lot, Alaska Airlines. You suck. Uh, but came back and um, good news is, is that I know my tank was fed. Um, this Bryopsis uh, kind of got out of control, but um, I don't really care about that. I'm about to go flux and um, get rid of all this crap. But good news is all the corals are doing awesome. I got some bubble algae that's uh, looking great and healthy. Uh, this Kelly Green Samacora, by the way. This Kelly Green Samacora right here is like really vibrant and bright. You can see it right there. Uh, these like Laker scrolls um, are coloring up nicely as well. All the polyps are out on these zoas. Digi's looking awesome. Cup coral looking BA. Over here are looking really good too. Uh, if you can see them through the bryopsis. But that's the uh, Hawaiian uh, ding dangs, I believe. And these are the WWC watermelon zoas. So I'm taking these two zoa rocks out and I'm gonna give them the hydrogen peroxide bath. And I'm going to give that one a bath too to get the other zoas over there on top. Um, but when I got back, this chamber back here was uh, almost completely empty. And uh, I jiggled the hose a little bit and some stupid calcwasser had gotten clogged up in the ATO tube. I mean, my fault for doing Kalkwasser and ATO, but whatever. This is kind of like an experiment tank. Uh, the basement doesn't go through a whole lot of seasons down here, so the evaporation stays pretty even. Um, so yeah, I just uh, I got some some fresh non-calc RO water and filled that back up. Uh, when I got over to this one, this one was sucking air. Uh, and so I got some RO water and topped that bad boy off. It's looking fine. Got salt working. Um, so the basement got a little bit warmer and due to that, my evaporation calculations, um, didn't do so well for the Cingularia tank. It was a little bit low, but not too bad. It was like 1.0. 0 to 3 maybe almost 4 and so that's not that bad I mean they're still doing great this one that just got cut is uh, already starting to grow new heads and same with that one and all the other ones are doing fine uh, the swamp tank is doing just fine uh, there's even more copepods and amphipods than I've seen before so that's cool and this one for some reason the ATO was on for a little bit too long and the water is a little bit high it's at 1.023 for salinity so I uh, cleaned the sensor um, it had some calc on it um, but other than that, everything is doing pretty good. I know this tank was fed as well. Hello, algae. And some other patches over here. No big deal. Um, I can knock those out. The glass was a little bit dirty. Um, but yeah, all the corals are super happy and healthy. So that's good. Uh, this bubble algae over here. Uh, looks like it's starting to turn silver, so that might be on its way out. I'll just uh, suck that up with the water change that I'm getting ready for right now. Um, the branching GSP has started to grow onto the rock, so that's exciting. The Galaxia is getting better, looking a lot bigger. Um, Basilopora is good. Milkostyla is good. That one's good. 
this acro the yellow submarine polyps still haven't come back out yet um, with the salinity swing I kind of am doubtful that it'll make it but it still has all its skin I haven't seen any sort of uh, tissue necrosis so that should be all right and then yeah all the other corals are good one of these uh, mushrooms down here that one's almost split and then that one uh, has already split its bottom end and has kind of circled up. It's hard to uh, get a good angle on it. But uh, yeah, everything else is doing really good. Chain reaction right there is looking awesome. That one's doing okay. Fiji leather is good. So yeah, next up I'm going to be doing some water changes and uh, I'm going to take all the macroalgae out of this one so I can uh, dose some fluconazole with it. I also have to take out the carbon too because um, I got a lot of macro over here. It's growing all up the side wall right here. And back here in the refugium where I had the light on it, it's actually not doing all that great might be getting burned it, the water level was really low so that might have been an issue too um, but I'm taking it out anyway while I dose fluconazole and yeah that's about it